Welcome back guys to another video on the channel and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a happy birthday card on Scratch. We'll be learning the following concepts on Scratch. Broadcast, sensing, costume, looks, motion, and other concepts too will be learned. Let's begin with a quick demo. So when the flag is clicked, the button will ask what's your name and after answering the question, click on me. So for now, I'm going to type CC. Now when you press the button, as you can see, there are two sharks singing happy birthday, and we also have a cake, as well as the button in the center, and we also have a happy birthday banner, which is tilting towards the left and the right. And the background is the party background with lots of balloons and a purple floor. So without much further ado, let's begin by creating a new project. We're first going to go to the rename box and rename this to Happy Birthday Card. Next, we're going to delete the cat sprite. Next, we're going to choose a sprite. We are going to choose the button sprite, and we're going to choose the cake sprite. Next, we're going to paint a new sprite. Zoom in thrice. Choose the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. This is going to be our banner. Use the text tool and type happy birthday. Change the font color to black. Align it to the center. Next, select the rectangle and change the fill color to a middle shade of yellow and green. Change the outline to zero. And I'm just going to extend my rectangle. I'm also going to change the font family to marker. And there we go. We're done with our banner. We're going to rename the sprite to banner. Now we have one more sprite to choose. We're going to choose the shark sprite. Rename shark2 to shark1. Let's begin coding, but before that, we need to choose our backdrop. Choose a new backdrop. We're going to choose party. Now we're going to go to the button and start coding the button. We're first going to drag a when flag clicked, and then we're going to go to X and Y. Change X to zero and Y to zero. This will make the button go to the center. Next, we're going to go to looks and drag show. Now we're going to take a forever loop. Inside this forever loop, we want to drag a change color effect by 25. This is going to change the color of the button. Change 25 to three. So it's going to forever change the color of the button. Next, we're going to drag a when this sprite clicked and connect a broadcast message one with when this sprite is clicked. Create a new message and name this message go. Next we're going to drag a stop all. So when this sprite is clicked it's going to broadcast a new message called go and it's also going to stop other scripts and sprites which also means it's going to stop the button from changing color effect by three and now we're going to get a when backdrop switches to backdrop one. What this block of code does is whatever blocks you connect with this will execute when the backdrop switches to backdrop one. We're going to go to sensing and drag it ask what's your name. Ask what's your name and then also type after answering the question, click on me. Now we're going to go to the backdrops. Drag a when flag clicked. Go to looks and drag switch backdrop to party. Change party to backdrop one, which is going to be our white backdrop. Next, we're going to drag a when I receive go. Switch backdrop to party. 
So what happens is when the sprite is clicked, the backdrop will receive go and then switch the backdrop to party. Let's code the cake now. We're first going to drag a when flag clicked. Then we're going to hide the cake. And we also want to switch the costume to cake A. We're next going to drag a when I receive go. So when the button broadcasts the message go, we want the cake to first go to negative 300 and negative 100. That position is around here. We want the cake to glide to the center. So first what we're going to do is we're going to drag a show. Next, we're going to go to motion and drag glide two seconds to X and Y. We want to glide two seconds to zero, X zero and Y, and Y negative 100. Next, we're going to drag a forever loop. In this forever loop, we are going to get a broadcast message. We want to broadcast a new message, and this message is going to be called line 1. We want the shark to receive line 1, and line 1 is going to be happy birthday to you, which will be sung by the shark. We also want to play sound happy birthday until done. We then want to wait 10 seconds. Let's go code the banner now. So when flag clicked, we want the banner to hide because when the flag clicks, the backdrop switches to backdrop one, which is the white backdrop, and we don't want the banner to be seen. Next, we want to drag a hide, and we also want to drag a go to X and Y. Name X to zero and Y to 120, which is going to be that position. Before that, I also want to go to costumes and I also want to extend the size of this. I'm first going to group it and extend the size of the banner. Now I'm going to go to when I receive go. Just like the cake received when I receive go, broadcasted by the button, we also want the banner to receive when I re receive go. We want it to turn point in direction 80 degrees. Next, we want to show. Basically, the cake, the banner is going to show when the backdrop switches to back, backdrop party. Now we want to get a forever loop. We're going to make sure that the banner is able to tilt towards the left and the right. First, we're going to go to motion and drag a clockwise turn. Change 15 to 20. We also want to drag an anti-clockwise, put that aside. Go to wait one second, and then put the turn anti-clockwise 15 degrees right below it. Change 15 to 20, and once again, we want to wait one second. Let's check this code out. As you can see, it can tilt towards the right and towards the left. Next, we want to go to shark1 and begin coding shark1. So when flag clicked, we want to hide. Once again, we want to hide the shark when the backdrop switches to backdrop 1. Then we want to go to X and Y. Make X negative 165 and Y 180, which is going to make the position go right here. Next, we want to glide over here. We're first going to drag a point in direction 90, and we also want to drag a switch costume to shark A. Next, when I receive go, just how the cake received when I receive go and how the button broadcasted when I receive go, we want the shark to also receive when I receive go. Next, we want to drag a show. And then we want to drag a glide two seconds to X and Y. Make X negative 165 and Y negative 70. Basically, we're changing the Y position but we're not going to change the X position. Now we want shark one to receive line one. Remember the cake broadcasted a message called line one? We want the shark to receive it and sing happy birthday to you. Now we're going to drag a switch costume to shark B. 
We also want to drag a say hello for two seconds. Change hello to happy birthday to you. Next, we're going to drag a switch costume to shark A. Next, what we want to do is we want to broadcast a new message, and this message is called line 2. We want line 2 to be sang by shark 2. Duplicate shark 1. Now we have some changes to make to shark 2. First, change go to X and Y. Make sure it becomes positive 165 and positive 180. We also want to go to motion and drag a set rotational size such style to left right. Next, this is crucially important. Change the point in direction to negative 90. Now, when I receive go, we want to change negative 165 to positive 165, but make sure that the Y position remains the same. Next, we're going to change line 1 to line 2. Make sure that the switch costume to shark B is the same, happy birthday to you is the same, and switch costume to shark 2A is the same. What we want to change is broadcast line 2. Broadcast a new message called line 3, which we want shark 1 to receive. Duplicate when I receive line 1, but change line 1 to line 3. Make sure that it remains switch costume to shark B. What we want to change is go to operator and get a join apple and banana. In the first blank, change it to happy birthday, dear, and now put a space. Next, we're going to go to sensing and drag answer. Remember the button asked a question, what's your name after answering the question, click on me? Yeah, so now we want to say happy birthday, dear, and the answer given by the user. We also want to change line 2 to line 4. We want line 4 to be received by shark 2. Duplicate when I receive line 2 and change it to line 4. Make sure that everything remains the same, but what you have to do is remove broadcast line 3. Let's test our project now. As you can see, our project is working perfectly, but I also want to add click only when it's, when it's your birthday, right above the button. So what I'm going to do is choose a sprite. Click on paint. Zoom in once and type click only when it's your, your birthday. I'm going to align this to the center, and I'm also going to change the font color to black. I'm going to select it and make it a bit big. Not that big. Around here. And now I'm going to drag it to X0 and Y124. Now what I'm going to get is when backdrop switches to backdrop 1, we want to show and go to X and Y. When I receive go, we want to hide, which means when the backdrop switches to backdrop one, we want to show and go to X and Y. But when I receive go, which is going to switch the backdrop to the party, we want to hide. Let's check it out now. So you see, click on the button. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave us a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, scratch on!